What's going on guys? We are back tonight with another video for you and we are going to go check out one of the new cards. I think kind of cool. It's uh, the Time Machine. So uh, I saw that card and immediately had to get it. It just looked awesome. So it's an 8 drop. You get 72 power and it says when drawn if your deck has exactly 9 history. Your science cards, wherever they are, gain plus 15 until played and vice versa. So I love these cards like that that it's like specific things or specific ways you have to build your deck around i just i don't know i really like them i think it makes the game unique so now i have to build a specific type of deck to make this card work and that's what we did we did a nine nine science and history split and we are going with wonders of construction so wanted to try that out since berg specifically uh, when played if your deck has nine or more wonders of constructions you get that plus 20 perm kind of like you would with an anubis so we're going to take advantage of that card, try to use it to its full potential, and uh, also get buffs from Time Machine and other Wonders of Construction. So you got cards like Gobekli Tepe. When returned, if you're losing the round, your Wonders of Construction cards, wherever they are, gain plus 23 until played. So uh, with nine of them in our deck, that's quite a bit. Also have this MC Escher. When played, your Wonders of Construction and Superstructures, wherever they are, gain plus 20 until played, and we get that one energy for the round, so that's nice. Uh, rest of the deck, we have Go Gossip Circle. When drawn, your cards in hand cost one less until played, and then when returned, your remaining cards cost plus one until played. We've got Library of Alexandria, perfect deck for this. It's got the History and Science buff for 38 on the turn, and then when returned, you lose 40 until played. Uh, St. Basil's Cathedral, when played, this card gains plus 20 for every completed round, so that's nice. Taj Mahal, just keeping the curve low with this. When drawn, a random card in your hand gains plus 25. Another random card in your hand gains plus 30 until played. We've got Machu Picchu, when played, gain plus 8 perm, so another way like Bird, going to get some permanent power. Uh... The Great Wall of China, when drawn, your cards in hand gain plus 8 perm. Again, just trying to keep the curve down a little bit. We don't have an energy gainer, really. We've got uh, this card gaining 1 on the round, but that's about it. No permanent gain, so we have to make sure we keep our curve down a little bit. Uh, Marina Bay Sands, when drawn, lose 4 perm, but then when returned, gain plus 8 perm. Uh, we've got, I don't even know how to say this one, but Niagara. When returned, if you lost the turn, this card loses 40 permanently. So we got to try to uh, play this when we when we think we can win their turn. We don't want to get that negative effect. Also, Rock and Dark Web. That's why we have some of these cards over 60 power, like this card in the deck, so we can take advantage of Web. If uh, get get those cards over 60, we're going to get plus three perm up to a max of five. Uh, so potentially, you can get plus 15 perm basically what that means uh we've got flying scotsman when played for every round completed gain plus 30 this turn and when returned it's going to cost plus one more so got to be careful with that uh we've got sydney opera house when played your cards in hand get plus 10 and your opponents lose 10 on the turn you guys know i love my gray goo love this card uh, when drawn, if your deck has nine or more science cards, nine of your random science cards lose ten until played, and nine of your nine of your random non-science cards get plus ten perm. So, gonna get we're gonna trade permanent power for temporary loss, which is nice. So, it's gonna carry into the late game, get us a little bit stronger as the game goes on. Antimatter, when played, this card loses one fifty, and so does the card opposite. Nice little three drop, gets triggered by dark web. I like it immunotherapy another way to get permanent power when return this card loses six perm and we gain six perm but again over 60 so dark web gonna get triggered by it so uh that's the deck guys uh let's go test her out see what you guys think it's been pretty decent i mean i'd say 50 50 i'm with it so far so i'll take that uh all right for a unique deck anyway i'm, I'm cool with that <laughs> As always, guys, if you guys enjoy these types of videos and crazy decks and all the content I put out, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, guys. It definitely helps me out. YouTube al algorithms pick me up better the more likes I get, so 
don't sleep on that like button guy just just tap it right now you guys are just sitting there you're just waiting around just boop and you're done <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go uh sorry i haven't been on to the last couple of days guys i've uh it was my birthday yesterday so um Really, that would have been the day I, I would have recorded most of the time, but since it was my birthday, my uh, my mom came over and uh, brought some Olive Garden with her, so that was nice. We had a nice little little birthday feast, so it's pretty awesome. All right, let's see here. Let's get Dark Web down, and we'll get Immunotherapy down. We're playing two right now. That's fine though. Not too crazy. Sucked. We drew a lot of our expensive cards right there off the rip. Like I said, this deck plays really tight on energy, so uh, definitely keep your eye on that. Usually when we get Gossip Circle and, and such going, though, it's not as bad. Get MC down. Start drawing some of these three drops. You can start playing more cards. It's not... Just very rarely does it happen where you're like, oh, I can't play all my cards. So... Uh, let's see. Let's do it like this. Looks like he might be trying to gain some perm power as well, so it should be interesting. He's probably going to outdo us on perm power, most likely, but he's playing cards that don't have a lot of base power. So we should overtake him because we do have buffs. He's not... Most most likely, he's not buffing. He's just uh, trying to get perm power. So I think we're going to be okay. We don't want to play Flying Scott till next round. So we get that plus 30. Uh, I do want to try to win here, though. So let's see. Let's just try to get our max going. Make sure we try to seal the deal here. Okay, he's got a little bit of something something. He's got Planet X in the deck, so that's interesting. Maybe rocking four space cards? I didn't see a bunch. Hmm. Maybe like Veil Nebula and... What else gives perm power? Hmm. Guess we'll see. All right, good time to get Scott, Flying Scott down. So I want to draw it back on round four, turn one. So that's why I'm playing it in the third slot. Because then I can play it again in slot one... And I'll get it again on round five. So you got to keep that in mind with Flying Scott because you want to you want to really play that card three times. So I strategically played it right there to draw it again. Like I said, round four, turn one, to where I can play it slot one and get it round five, turn three. So if you guys aren't familiar with cycling, that is how that works. All right, we got our Berg. Let's get him down. Gonna get that plus 20. This might be a good time to cycle Goo. We're not losing, so let's not play Gobekli Go Tepe right now. We'll do Great Wall. And don't be fooled, Gobekli Tepe, uh, Tepe is losing the round, not losing the turn. So if you're winning the round... Make sure you're not playing that card unless, you know, you have no other choice. Uh, we do want to try to get that one down when we're losing the round. And we got to get this card down so we get our plus eight. So let's do that. Oh, it was Veil Nebula. Who was right? Yeah, you guys like that. I done called it. He's doing Red Diamond too. So he's going to start off strong next turn. So that might be a good time to play Gobekli Tepe now on this next turn, right? Because I, I know I'll I know I'll be losing, potential most likely. So let's do it. He's got two hundred. He only needs one thirty-eight with those three. So let's hope he can do it. Okay, good. So we're not too far behind. 
which is nice. It didn't help him a ton, but just enough to lose and trigger Gobekli. That's like perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. We're like right there on the cusp of winning this round, so perfection. All right, there you go. You see our Gossip Circle coming in nice, giving everything a nice little discount there. I think we can win this turn, so let's go ahead and play Niagara, if I'm saying that right. If I'm butchering it, I apologize. I'm going to do you, even though it's not the most. I think it'll be all right. All right, MLK coming in. Almost did us dirty. It was close. We still got it, so that's good. Not going to lose our uh, permanent power there. We might not even make it to that uh, round four and five for our... I was going to show you guys that cycling trick, but... Well, I told you, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yep, didn't even make it. That's what's tough with them power per turn decks. If you're uh, if you're not putting putting down enough power early, and you give them those first two rounds, they can really just basically skunk you and if they get round three so that's why a lot of times i like to have those cards kind of like he did with red diamond that are going to help you win that uh round two because you really need to win round two when you're playing those decks all right we'll do one more we shall do one more yeah birthday was pretty good uh Wife and I just got a new box of the Obsidian Flames, if you guys are Pokemon guys, any of you Pokemon gals. Uh, the Elite Trainer box we opened, though, was stacked. We pulled two gold cards out of it. Not the Charizard, dang it. But two of the other two gold cards. I pulled another Alt Art. That was pretty sick. We pulled a Waifu card. Like, all out of one trainer box. I'm like, what is going on with this box? Like, almost every pack was a hit. Didn't make any sense to me. I didn't... I don't even know. It was crazy. It was craziness. All right, we got this again where we are struggling to play... So we don't want to play you then. So let's wait. I'm going to do it like this. rather play three cards oh we got the birds let's see if we can stack up on a birds deck i haven't played it with this deck yet so this will be interesting i am curious will i get steamrolled by the birdies all right 334 probably winning this turn unfortunately so our gossip or our go is not going to be what we want but that's all right I didn't want to play the other two just yet. And you guys know why. We, we talked about it. You guys know. <laughs> All right, let's see here. There's our Berg. Nice. Only up by 24. So it is a risk. Do we play St. Basil's. I think I do, actually. I want to try to win this first turn. Or this first round. Grey Goo, probably not enough to get me there. But this might, this might be. So let's do it. Oh, his Flying Dutch is going to trigger. I just seen it. Oh, man. Shucks. All right, well, we wasted our basil then. That's all right, bro. 
All right, so back to our cycling. We're going to play Flying Dutch now, like I said before. So we get the trigger. We're going to play it in slot three. So now we draw it back when? Turn one of round four. And then on round four, we're going to play it here so that we get it back on round five. That's the trick. Ooh, we lost the turn. That's unfortunate for our Niagara. So we're going to lose 40. That stinks. All right, let's see if we can come back from that. We are down. There's our time machine. Where you been, my lifetime machine? I needed you, bud. You've been slacking. Uh, this is probably his big night jar turn because he's got three birds. So let's see if we can hit one. Nope. No night jar, but it's a big turn for him. All right, we're not out of it yet. We're down 20. All right, there's our web. Not a ton here for us, though, unfortunately, power-wise. It's kind of a weaker turn. We're down. We're probably going to lose this turn. 311 is probably not enough, right? So let's just play web. Oh, it might have been enough. No, he's got camel. Oh, we did get it. Wow. He's really just trying to lose that, honestly. <laughs> Not trying to, but I thought we lost. Well, yeah, I'll take it. Guess we could have put more power down, but we didn't. All right. So, hmm. I don't want to lose right now. I don't want to get a huge lead with Alexandria because then my Gobekli is going to be kind of worthless. So let's do it like this in hopes that he wins here and he doesn't. Golly. There's nothing going right with that. I'm like, come on, Gobekli. We need to lose here. Let's play all our weak cards. Nope. Still gets him. All right. Well, is what it is. All right, what do I want to play here? I think I want to do Immuno, get that down, and start getting that six power. All right, I think we got this round here. He's going to need a real big turn here. I mean, he got Griffin, so he could get a big turn here, but I think we're going to get it. One can hope. We're going to get our Basil down. Let's get you down. And Sydney. Yep. Ooh, he's got his Dutch. He played it. It's not enough. Glad I didn't play Niagara again, because we would have got another minus 40. I like how this deck kind of creeps up on you with the, the slow gain of, of power. Like, the, we're at 76 right now. It's not doing crazy like that last deck was that we played, but it's it inches up to where it's... If they're not gaining any power, it's definitely making it tougher on them as the game goes on. All right, so we talked about now we want to get Flying Dutch here, right? So we get it round five. What other card do we want to get round five? Let's do our Antimatter. We'll get him back. And then, okay, so this third slot we're not going to get back. So we just play whatever we want here. Let's do, let's do you. 
good turn for him. Alright, there's our dark web. I don't think it gave us anything last time, if I recall. So we don't really need to play it, because it's not doing anything. That is, though. So let's get that down. Dark web, definitely not as good as it used to be. Man, at that 50 power, it was nutty. Now you get games that don't even trigger. But I have it in here as a combatant to the big decks, because we do see some big decks occasionally, and it is nice to have this in there when you do. Kind of helps you keep up with them a little better. All right, which one? Which one? What are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's do Grey Goo. It's going to need 400 plus here. Don't think he has it. All right, that's game. All right, guys, we beat a birdie. It doesn't look like it was a very good birdie, though. Is he missing Nightjar? Didn't even see it. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck. Let me know what you thought. Comments below. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night.